sure. Healthcare associated infections and risks of antimicrobial resistance in Barbados are under control. That's according to Dr. Corey Ford, who is the consultant on infectious diseases and the head of infection prevention and control at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. However, Dr. Ford told the opening of a two day seminar to mark Infectious Disease Week there was still a lot more work to be done. Success has been gained and has been shown in units within the hospital. And I want to highlight the surgical intensive care unit, where we have demonstrated quite ably, ably a reduction in costs through better use of resources and better use of antibiotics. And we expect that later this year that we will work with our surgical colleagues, colleagues in the urology unit. Meantime, PAHO's interim representative for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean told those gathered that the region needed to collect more data on pathogens and antimicrobial resistance. So our countries that we are taking uh, action, uh, they realize that we have a problem at hand and the resources are being put together to ensure that we can deal effectively with this prob problem. Uh, Dr. Ford has mentioned, uh, mentioned anti um, microbial storage programs. Well, we are making progress, as he mentioned, but uh, I see that in this area uh, we, are, we still have uh, some way to go. Uh, so it is the, our intention in the next two years to work with the countries to strengthen the capacity for anti microbial storage programs across the Caribbean. Success.